you how to uh, publish a map in a nicer format but when, when you have a map right here you can actually save it as a bitmap image and incorporate it quickly but if you want to have some titles insets etc you need to go and do um, a bit further work to um, get it working properly and get it looking nice I have right here turned on the browser panel to wait to turn the browser panel you can right mouse click on any of these items and click there and that allows you to then open uh, layers interactively so you just then select a file that you want to open and double click on it and that's all it takes rather than saying uh, add vector or add the limited text layer etc so we're going to create a thematic map uh, based on one of the fields that we have here we have a field called zone um, we created that field before and the way we did it is we opened the attribute table and you see the zone right there and we created that by clicking on here open field calculator also available out here and we created a new field called zone and the way we did it is we looked at string operations and we said left and then the fields local code comma 2 close the bracket and this is the first two characters of the um, local code is actually the zone so this is how we created that field so it's easy enough to go and create it to do the thematic mapping we just double click on the local layer here single symbol is the default we'll go with categorized we select zone as the field that we want to uh, map press classify to see all the colors uh, pretty hideous colors but they would work for this example so we'll say apply and say OK so now we have a map that we wish to uh, publish and save in nicer format so the way we do that is we go to project new print composer or control P new print composer so you have a separate um, application if you will that collects information from QGIS and uh, produces a nice map so we'll say uh, zone map so that we know what this is later on so this is the title and you can see here that we have both the QGIS and the print composer running simultaneously the first thing that we need to do is set the page size so we go to the composition tab right here you notice that it goes to the international uh, paper sizes um, at the bottom here are the United States um, which we follow as well sizes so we'll say size A 8.5 by 11 it's right now set for landscape we're going to make a map of Alberta so it's probably better to go with portrait and so that allows us to create a nice portrait map right here then uh, we'll go to click on item properties because we'll be adding um, items here so we see that we can add a new map we can add a new image so any image uh, a logo a picture anything like that can go in here a new label a new legend a new scale bar so basically all the usual things that we want to uh, add so we'll add a new map and we just draw a box for the area that we want to have, we want to have the map occupy so we'll say it goes from about here to around here you'll see that it puts a map right there um, not a very good size as it turns out you can click on this uh, to move item content this allows you to move the box you can change the size or the location and this allows you to change the content so as I click down here I can move the map to the center when I click on here I can use the with the uh, the wheel in the mouse to zoom in so I can zoom in zoom out or I can actually interactively type the scale right here on the left hand side so you have a couple of different ways of uh, doing this I can always go back and make this perhaps a little bit bigger and maybe just a little wider and now I can go back into here and zoom a bit more and once again we see that that's perhaps a little too much 
and we can just type a number there and that will obviously get us out further so we can see that uh, if we put all zeros here and we'll do that it will zoom out a little further away and now we can change this to perhaps a 10 and that zooms out even further now I can change the 10 to an 8 and that will get us closer as expected and maybe I'll make this as to a 7.5 and we'll get even closer yet and so this is how you set the scale one of the things you want to do is uh, once you know a proper scale that you that would work for the maps that you create all the time you just make a note of it and that way you can just go and set the scale uh, appropriately every single time and that way it's uh, quick and easy to do that the uh, next thing we're going to do is um, put a legend so we can click here on add new legend you can also go to layout and add map add legend etc so these items can be uh, you know these are shortcuts to uh, menu items that are sitting up here so you just like with a regular part of QGIS you have shortcuts all over the place uh, to do different things so we'll add new legend and we'll draw the box for the legend and we see here that it's created the legend now it's put Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4 one thing that we could do is go back into QGIS and uh, change this field so that we do a search and replace and anytime it says Z1 call it south um, that however takes uh, a bit of effort to go and do one of the things we can do is double click on Z1 here and just type south we say OK and that gets replaced by south I double click on Z2 and there will be Calgary say OK and likewise with Z3 will become central and this saves us from having to go and change the original table Edmonton and North this is an awkward title so I just change double click there and I say local geography or actually because it's um, we can say zones and local geography because we're showing both so we can put that title there and say okay and perhaps we don't need to have the word legend showing up there so we'll just put nothing on there and we have our legend so we can then move the legend to perhaps a better place like so and we can also change the size um, etc so we have options there so it's quite a, a large legend so we can go and make it a little smaller and see it's resizable and movable so easy to enough to do the right there um, then we can also perhaps we want to show some detail here for Edmonton and Calgary so what we do is we insert a new map and we'll create a box right here for uh, Edmonton once again we use this content and then we zoom in zoom in again zoom in again and so on until we have the level of detail that we want to see so perhaps right there is the level we want to see so now we can see uh, Edmonton clearly we can say edit copy edit paste this will put another Edmonton uh, why do we need two Edmontons? well we don't uh, what we need to do though is show Calgary so we can zoom in on the page or zoom in on the content so here we will zoom out on the content and zoom in and I'm using the scrolling wheel on the mouse to do this and there we can see Calgary in detail so now we have a map that shows uh, both 
Edmonton and Calgary in detail as well as the entire province. Um, we can add a scale bar. So we can add a scale bar and we'll just draw a scale bar right here. And the scale bar, then you have the option of uh, changing it and you can choose which map the scale bar represents. So map zero is the first map you created. And then here we want to indicate the different components. We don't want it in meters, we want it in kilometers. So right there, uh, so 1000 meters is kilometers. And then we say, um, what are the units? So we want to have it uh, every 50,000 and we'll see what happens and we can say every one zero and now we have something that works a little bit better so we now have a scale for the main map and we can of course also add a scale and put it right in here for the two inset maps that way somebody wants to know uh, roughly the sizes of course they can estimate by looking at this map right here but uh, you can insert another scale bar right here and this is based on uh, map 2 so map 2 and map 1 are the same scale because I was careful to do that and then I can say that this is 10 and now I have a scale bar for these two I can then put a title and I put in my title and we can say Alberta Health Zones and of course we can change the font uh, in this case is not choosing a very good font but we can say Arial and we can choose a larger font 14 and uh, we can see that that shows up right there perhaps you can even make it bigger um, we can even enter it HTML so that way we would you know have further ability to create um, uh, special formatting and so on because HTML gives you uh, more abilities in that regard and um, we can then go and export this as a PDF and so we will create a PDF map and we'll put this on the desktop and create a PDF and I'll call it zone map PDF and press save and I have in, in turn created a PDF map that will be showing up somewhere here on my desktop and I can open that see that um, it has cut off the uh, title a bit so we obviously need to move the title a bit uh, but otherwise the, the PDF is right there and uh, we can go back into here and then move the title over a bit so that we don't have that problem anymore and we can of course move the entire map down if we want to and then move the legend, the scale bar, because we obviously have more space at the bottom. So we can do that and then create another PDF. Likewise, we can um, export as an image and that way we can incorporate this into um, a Word document, a PowerPoint document, etc. So you have, oh, and the ability, of course, to print directly. So from here, we can print directly to a printer as well. So, um, you know, this allows you to uh, create the map in exactly the way you want and uh, a chance to preview it before you print it out uh, either as an image or as a PDF.